What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Quentin here from Sewing and Vacuum Warehouse and today is going to be the introduction video to a series of videos that we're going to do on proper hooping that at the end we will connect them all together and if you stay till the end of this video there will be a special offer. To get the proper hoop there are three things on a checklist that you need to go over every time. Number one, the proper tension inside of my hoop. Now once I have that proper tension, I need to make sure it is laid over the proper stabilizer. And if I have the proper tension and the proper stabilizer, am I using the correct hoop? Let's break all of those down just a little bit. So first, what is the proper tension in my hoop and how do I get there? If you've ever been to a store and asked for advice, someone probably asks you, well, how taut is the area inside of your hoop? And if you're anything like me when I first got here, you're gonna say, what in God's name does that mean? All they're asking is, what is the tension like inside your hoop? And if it's too loose, your design is gonna bounce everywhere because your fabric is actually not stable and it will look nothing like you wanted. If it is too tight, when you unhoop it, everything around your design is going to pucker. That leads us on to using the proper stabilizer. Now there's only one problem with that. And that's not even one of everything. So, to help you pick the proper stabilizer, you can get something like this, which we will go over in one of those other videos we shoot later on. We know that we're looking for the proper tension and we're looking for the proper stabilizer. Now what's the last piece? We're looking for the proper hoop. Your embroidery machine might have came with one hoop or even a collection of hoops, but sometimes you're going to have to go outside of the bounds of the hoops that your machine did come with. If I'm trying to hoop a small project into a large hoop, not only am I wasting a lot of stabilizer, I'm also greatly expanding my margin for error. Any brand is gonna have a small hoop available for purchase, something like a one x two or a four x four, or if you're really looking to make life easy, you can get something like a small magnetic frame. Pro tip, sometimes where you're hooping is just as important as what you're hooping. So to keep your hoop stable and your project stable while you're hooping, you can get something like this hoop mat that is going to hold your project steady while you're doing it. And as promised, since you stayed to the end of the video, anything we mentioned in this video through October 2023 is going to be 10% off. That's right. All of the products that we mentioned today are gonna to be 10% off, and even if you're not local, shoot us a phone call and we'll get it worked out for you. I'm Quentin from Sewing and Vacuum Warehouse. Make sure you like and subscribe to see the rest of this series, and I'll see you next Tuesday.